ball. No, we'll start again, we'll start again. No, 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 we're not starting again. Why? Why not? No, 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 we're not doing that. I'm not adding it. <laughs> if we start. Jack Rolls, good to meet you. Thanks for sparing us some time. Nice to meet you. How did signing for Woking come about? Um, I had a call from the gaffer and he said he's interested in me. Uh, he said how the team play and it all sounded really positive and I came in for a couple of sessions and I loved the setup, I loved the facilities and all the boys were really welcoming and I loved the training to be honest so it was, it was a no-brainer in the end. How, have you any idea how he found out about, knew about you? Um, no, I'm not too sure actually, I haven't asked him but he said he'd watched me play a couple of times and he knew a lot about me and he was interested so as a player that's what sometimes you want, a lot of the time you want to feel like you wanted and when he knew a lot about me and said that he watched me, it was, as I said, it was a does, bit of a no-brainer. Does that mean he, he watched you for Crystal Palace under-23s? Um, I think he watched me a few times at Cambridge. Okay. Um, I had a couple of chats with Nathan and he said that he watched me at, Chris, uh, at Cambridge as well. So right. I think they they knew me from then and then kind of just kept a close eye on me and when I was available, uh, they got in contact. Okay. Um, I think everybody knows that you, uh, basically, you spent most of your younger days at Spurs. How was that as an experience? Yeah, it was uh, it was surreal really. Like obviously being a, a fan from an early age and spending all my life there really. Um, and some of the countries we went to, the games we played in, it was, it was amazing. But obviously that's in the past now and I'm here and I'm just ready to kick on, uh, show the Woking fans, show the manager, show the boys what I'm about and hopefully just press really. Sure, I mean that's 101% the, the correct attitude, but I, I can't resist saying that, tell us some of the players you played with and against uh, while at Tottenham. Well obviously I played with the, all the names of Spurs, uh, I guess Harry Kane, Young Min Son, uh, Deli Ali, um, and then played against a lot of big teams, so when I went on pre-season tour uh, a couple of years ago now we played against Juventus, Bayern Munich, um, uh, Real Madrid, so that was such a surreal experience. And yeah. were, that, were those games? Did they take place at training grounds or in the main? No, stadium? so they was in the main stadium. So, so we you went against, to the Bernabeu. No, so it was in um, oh. when we played against Bayern Munich and Real Madrid. That was at the Allianz Arena. Okay. And when we played against Juventus, it was in. Shanghai. Oh, so these were tournaments. Yeah, these are pre-season oh, tournaments. Right, yeah, gotcha. so it was uh, okay. it's very, it's a great experience. Brilliant. Uh, you had six years there at Spurs, and then you, you, you've already mentioned you went on loan to Cambridge. Yeah. Um, was that enjoyable? Yeah, like I, uh, when I went there, it was. I felt I felt like I was there to impress and show what I could do, and I felt like I'd done that. Um, it, it it gave me a taste of men's football, and I loved every minute of it. Um, so is, that's is, sorry to butt in. Is is that actually? quite a gap between Premier League clubs under 23 or under 19 or whatever it was and League 2 um, first team. Yeah I'd say there's a big gap there. They both have their pros and cons to them I'd yeah, say. Yeah, of course. Um, but just being in a dressing room with with players who know what it means to win games and do Absolutely. all it takes. It, it just takes it takes it to the next level I'd say. Um, some people might frown upon it and might not like it, having to drop down and play games. But for me, I, I relished it and I loved every single moment of it. And that's what I'm hoping to do now that I'm here at Woking. Yeah, there's a big difference between a game that it effectively, arguably, adds up to a training session and one that the other 10 guys in the team are desperate to win. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So everyone's fighting for places. Uh, we've got competition in every, in every position, but it's all healthy competition. It pushes. It pushes everyone and it and makes you want to play. Well. Yeah, and bigger crowds and, it, yeah. and you want to play on the Saturday and Tuesday. Right. Um, you've also been involved with Cyprus at uh, under 19, under 21 level, is that right? Yeah, yeah, I was. Uh, my mother's Cypriot, so I qualified to play for Cyprus. Right. Um, Have I you actually played any games or been to. So I went there from under 17s and I worked my way up all the way to the first team. I've been called up once to the first team squad and I was on the bench twice but I didn't come on so right. hopefully when I kick on here um, that can open up some more opportunities for Cyprus. Absolutely, brilliant. Um, I think we probably ought to gloss over the fact that you played for Stevenage because there's a bit of a rivalry between 
this club and Stevenage, or at least from this club's point of view. I suspect Stevenage fans would, don't understand it, but that's another matter. Um, how's your fitness? Yeah, I've, I've been training. I came in and had a chat with Gaffar, the assistant, and I feel, I feel good, I feel fresh. We're doing fitness runs on the pitch, so just working towards getting some games now. Yeah, uh, the reason I ask that is because you came on on Saturday, but only for the last very few minutes. Um, so I wondered if you were being shielded because of a bit of a lack of match fitness or...? Um, no, I'm not sure. I think that's just the manager's decision. Um, we went there, we got a point. We were 2 nil up and we probably should have taken all three, but at the end of the day when you're going away to a team who played really good football like they did, it, it, it's not always the worst point on the road. No, of course, of course. And uh, we've we've already spoken to Dows this morning. I think he's uh, suggesting that you have a decent chance of a start or at least a bigger involvement on Saturday. So, not that I'm giving any secrets away. Did you know any of the working squad at all? Um, no, to be honest, I no. had a couple like mutual mutual friends. I'd say so when I'd come in, a couple of people said, "Oh, do you know?" Yeah. So and so and like that. So as I said, as I said earlier, the boys are really welcoming. None, no one's been cold. It's been, it's been a really enjoyable place to be at, and I've loved my first week here. Right. Which makes my next question a little bit redundant to, in a, to an extent, because I was going to. I mean, everybody, most players do move from club to club. They go on loans, they come back, and so on. Um, some go around loads and loads of clubs. So they get a lot of experience of fitting into a new dressing room. Well, you've only been at sort of three or four clubs, really. Is it difficult to fit in? You're suggesting it hasn't been here, but I presume it can be sometimes. Uh, for me, I'd say it hasn't ever really been that challenging. I guess when you're in a football environment, everyone's here, got the same interests, got the same same goal. And when you get on the training pitch, you just have a different kind of bond and connection with everyone, and it brings you closer off the pitch. So. I feel like when, when you get training and playing games, you gel quite quickly with people, people similar in your position, people who, who want the same things as you do. So, as I said, it's been, it's been really good. You know. Brilliant. I've seen another interview with you where you describe yourself as a goal-scoring midfielder. Would you still hold to that description? Yeah, definitely. Well, I'll tell you what, if you can be a goal-scoring midfield player for this club, you would be a big favourite. Oh because it's, it's an area of the field, Dows will say this publicly, that we haven't had anywhere near as many goals from midfield as he would have liked. And uh, no doubt the fans would have liked as well. So, welcome to Woking, good thank to you. meet you. Nice and we look you. forward to loads of goals. Hopefully, thank you. Thanks a lot. Please remember to like and subscribe to Woking Football Club.